Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we are using SCP, also known as the Secure Copy Protocol, to copy a file between computers. SCP will allow you to share a file through the command line remotely using an SSH connection on Windows 10 here. For my example today, I'll be copying from this Windows 10 computer over to one of my Linux computers that's on my local network. This of course can be done across any type of platform as long as you have an SSH client installed so that you have access to the SCP command. All right, here in my Windows computer, I'm going down to search and I'm searching for CMD or the command prompt. After opening that up, I'll want to confirm that I have SCP available to me. I can do this by typing in SCP and hitting enter. At this point, it's telling me that the usage here is SCP followed by flags and then a source in a target computer. And if you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more operating system videos. Also, if you need help installing SSH client on Windows 10, make sure to check out a video I made about how to install it. This video also assumes that the computer you are trying to transfer using SCP already has an SSH server installed and that you can access the remote computer via SSH. And since we know we have SCP installed on this Windows 10 computer, we'll type SCP again. And then here is where I get to specify the file I want to transfer. Let's create one real quick. I'm going to use Notepad and just type in Savvy Nick here. I'll save it here on the desktop as SavvyNick.txt. And now I'll transfer this file using this command line to my Linux computer. All right, the first argument that goes after SCP followed by a space is the location of the file on this current computer. So mine's located in C backslash users backslash savvy Nick. And it's on my desktop and it's called savvy Nick.txt. Now it doesn't have to be a text file. It can be any sort of a file, any sort of an extension. You can transfer all files with SCP. You can even transfer folders over and I'll show you how to do that as well. But for now, let's stick to one file. We'll put a space and now we have to specify a target location. In order to specify the target location, we'll need to know the IP address of the computer where we're trying to copy the file to and the username and password of the computer. We'll need to know the IP address and a user and password on that same computer where we want to transfer the file to. So mine's the Linux computer that I showed before and my username there is Savvy Nick, followed by an at symbol. Then I type in the IP address, forward slashes, and I wanna put it in the home Savvy Nick desktop directory. So what this command's going to do is copy Savvy Nick.txt from this location to a computer with the username Savvy Nick, and its IP address is this. It currently has open SSH server installed on it and the location is going to be anything, anything preceding this colon. So in home savvy Nick desktop. So if I press enter now, the file should get copied over to the other computer. So here it's asking us for our password for the user. I'll go ahead and put in my password. And now it says that savvy Nick.txt got transferred over hundred percent done and it was very quick since there was really not much to the file. So let's check things out on the Linux side and make sure that the file exists over there. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit that like button for me. It really does help me out. All right, I'm here on my Ubuntu Linux desktop. And if I look here in the background on my desktop, now I see SavvyNick.txt. If we open this up, let's make sure it says Savvy Nick inside and it sure does. So congratulations, if you made it this far, you've successfully copied over your first file using SCP, the secure copy protocol. Now let's try sending over a folder from the Windows side of things. It's a very similar method, but let's make a folder somewhere else on the system. I'm opening up the file browser and I'm adding it to documents this time. I'll create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it folder and drag and drop Savvy Nick inside of here. So inside this folder, we have Savvy Nick. So how do we transfer this folder over? Back to the command prompt. Let's type in SCP again, and then followed by a space with a dash R. This means 
copy whatever we're about to send over recursively, such as a folder and all the contents inside of that folder. So we'll need this dash R in order to copy over the folder. And if we do C, my location is in the users, savvy Nick documents folder, and it's called folder. Now I get to specify what computer I want to send it over to. Again, it has to have open SSH server installed on it. So again, I'm copying it over to the Linux computer I have with a username savvy Nick at the computer's IP address, which is 192.168.1.114 for me. Yours, of course, might be something different. You'll have to find that out for yourself. And then I want it in the home, Savvy Nick, and I'll put it back on the desktop once more. And then I press enter. I'm asked for my password again. I'll type that in, press enter. And now it says again, Savvy Nick.txt was copied over, 100% done. This one was a breeze as well. Let's check out the Linux side of things and make sure our folder exists over there. All right, and on the Linux side of things, I see a folder on the background. Let's make sure there's something inside of it. Very good, savvy nick.txt with savvy nick written inside. Awesome, so everything copied over correctly, including the directory and its contents. And this of course can work in the opposite direction as well meaning if you wanna copy a file from a Linux or Mac OS platform over to a Windows computer, you can do this as long as you have the SSH server installed on the computer where you're trying to transfer the file over to. I also have a video on how to set up SSH server on Windows 10 if you want to transfer between Windows 10 computers and or Linux to Windows 10. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check that one out. And that's about it. We learned about two different methods in, in order to copy a single file over to another computer using SCP, as well as an entire directory using the dash R flag with SCP. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, make sure to go ahead and share it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.